won yesterday, is that correct? That's possible. I'm not 100% sure, but he did a great show yesterday and he said that today is going to do a surprise. Yes. So let's see so what we, it is. We can't wait for the surprise. And the result from yesterday is not that important anyway. And it's today, it's now the time to shred and to show what you can and to go big, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's that's exactly the point. The and Swedes, uh, they're not, actually the Swedes are not so used to so super conditions. Okay, it's going now. No? <laughs> you, you mean the Swedes are used to bad snow and small mountains? Yeah, maybe that's true. That's also why they are actually riding like they are. Well, they, don't, they don't mind stomping on, on a very big snow, definitely cliff on no. ice. That's actually what they like, what they do. And now he's going. But I'm sure when they have good condition, they go even bigger as usual, which means very, very big. Okay, he goes. Okay. Okay, first jump, just to warm up. Now the big one, the same as last. And he stumps it. Beautiful. Is he going on to go? All right, a little special line again. But maybe he jumps it at the end. Yeah, big one. And he stumps again, amazing. That was big already. Jump again, and I'm sure he's going to do something. Special line here. Very nice. Oh, he controls, nice. The ski went on the back, but he controls it. And now one more. Big jump. Very nice run, very fluid. He did like five, six jumps, and he stumped them all. Nice control. That was a very good start for the skier. Yeah, that was a very strong run. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we, we may have here a small bit of standing. We said that he won yesterday, but I think he's actually leading, leading the free world qualifier ranking at the moment which is not the same as uh, winning yesterday. So. I think he was uh, having a nine rank yesterday. So now we look at the images, nice tops. As we said, the Swedes all, always have very strong legs and they like to, to land uh, very big cliffs, even if the conditions are not really good. That's what we see in the Fred World Tour all the time. I like, I like his run. He went for the big ones and he stomped. He well, was really he was very run. fluid. He did a lot of jumps, not, certainly not the biggest of the day, but he stomped them all very technically. Good control as he's first in the world qualifier ranking and I think he's gonna be very happy of what he did. Corinne, I'll let you introduce him to us. So Ole, happy with your run I guess? Uh, yeah, kinda. What kinda? Come on, you stomped what, five, six landings? Yeah, but I had one little miss with my ski and I got out of focus for the last drop. You caught yourself? Yeah. It's nice strong skiing, how do your legs feel? I'm a bit tired. The hike up is very long. So, pretty tired. Oh, you're happy, right? Yeah, it's a really fun competition. I like the face. You've been here last year, right? Sixth? Yeah, first time last year. First time? So this is the second time? Let's see if it's better than last time, last year, waiting for the scores. I'm not quite ready yet, so uh, you give the judge something to think about. So, uh, what's next up after this? Uh, going back to Chamonix, where I stay for the winter. Oh, you've been all winter in Cham. Yeah, it's been, been really good. And then uh, I'm going to, the next competition will be in Cortina in two weeks. So I have a few weeks off now, just skiing with my friends, having fun. So you don't uh, train back home in Sweden? Uh, no, I'm flying back uh, in the end of March. Oh, when there's, when there's a bit more sun there. Yeah, exactly. The best time in Ore. What? Best time in Ore? April. Okay, your note, uh, your score's coming up, so have a look over there. Okay. Happy? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what place it is, but thank you and good luck for the rest.